Namaste. How's it going? Let me give a few insights on the diaphragmatic breathing, or also called as abdominal breathing, and is there a yoga technique similar to this breathing pattern? There are like three principles I'd like to share with you regarding this topic. The first one being the main channel where we flow the breath are the nostrils and not the mouth. And the main anatomical structure absorbing the breath inside are the lungs and not the belly. This is important yeah, because the aphromatic breathing, yeah, the first thing that you see there is open and inflate the tummy. No. Yeah. When you do that, your mindset, or when you apply that principle as you inspire, allow the belly to open, it feels heavy. You can actually do this now. Inhale it. For the sake of allowing the belly to inflate, you force the tummy to open, and therefore the sensation is pressing downwards, is dropping. Yeah. It's actually the opposite which happens inside. As you inspire the breath in, the initial part of it is actually thinning to the inner body like the muscles inside the walls of the belly flattens to draw the sensation of the breath out. So you're feeling the lungs from base to the top. And as the breath fills the lungs, that will make room for the diaphragm to descend. Therefore, the opening of the walls of the belly happen after or as the lungs get filled up. It's not the other way around. It's not opening before you lift. Yeah. Inhale, it's ascending. So at first, yeah, if you place one hand to your tummy in the chest, at first, it's actually the thoracic and the rest of your respiratory and, uh, organs inside the chest which will open and then absorb the breath. And then the belly, at first, will actually go flat. Yeah. And as the breath fills the lungs, the diaphragm descends. And that's the reason why, yeah, towards the end of the breath, towards the end of the inhalation, the belly opens. But you are not doing it consciously. It's an organic yeah, side effect of your diaphragm descending. Therefore, it's called diaphragmatic breathing. But the technique yeah, of breathing is actually drawing up and then thinning inside. Although you see externally the abdomen walls open, internally it goes to the midline. It's a hugging sensation. And as you hug the sensation, you lift. Yeah, the current of the breath up and expands the chest and the lungs inside. Good. And then at the top, you might do a light suspension and exhale all the way down. Yeah. So that technique in yoga is what we call the complete yogic breath. Right. So like you're breathing from the base of your spine and then even past your lungs, up to your yeah, neck and even inside the brain. Yeah, channeling the energy up. And that brings me to the next principle. Second principle, the breath is rising. It's not bulging, it's not dropping, it's rising. We ascend our awareness up. Our energy ascends to the vertical. Yeah, and this energy comes from the hips. Yes. So the primal energy of the body from the earth, actually from the earth and beyond. And this um, paves way yeah, for the opening of the spine, yeah, for the opening of our inner compartments, yeah, for the nourishing yeah, of our organs inside. So if you just, for example, breathe and then just press the pressure down, doesn't feel right. It feels heavy, actually. All right. Breath is rising. Good. All right. And as it rises, you feel the lungs expand. Yeah. Which brings me to the third principle. 
Right. The lungs have the capacity to expand so immensely depending on yeah, the openness of your nadis, the strength of your cardiorespiratory system, and this will happen as you practice your techniques. Yeah. There's no limit yeah, to expanding yeah, the lungs. They can really go expansively. That's why you know, the uh, advanced yogis, if you see their structure, their thoracic cavity is really expansive yeah, compared to their other body parts. The abdomen is just a compartment. The abdomen has a capacity. Once the abdomen gets filled with whatever their food, yeah, we feel we are full, right? Yeah, that therefore we cannot absorb anymore. But the lungs, the lungs, is they are boundless. Their capacity to open is limitless. Good. So when you breathe, yeah, instead of us, instead of you focusing on the external manifestations, yeah, because a technique says so, try to involve the brain. Really breathe, nostrils. Expand. And as you expand, your awareness open. Yeah. And exhale, back to the midline. Breathing in, draw it from the base. Yeah. Even send your internal awareness up to your forehead. So your mind can witness. And then back from external to the body. And then back to the source. Good. So even if you apply, for example, a common drill yeah, to learn the diaphragmatic breathing, lying down, this one. Okay. So if you place one hand to your tummy and one hand to your chest, but for the sake of like investigation, now try to breathe and then move the breath downwards so you can inflate the tummy. Yeah, feels heavy, but try to draw it up, inhaling. Good. Lighter. And the expansion of the abdomen walls when you do the technique right is actually gentle. It's not, you, you barely feel it opening. It opens, but it's not forceful. It not, it's not conscious. It's mostly here. So here, we, you, it, this is now where you breathe yeah, expansively yeah, and holistically. Yeah. Good. Last, we don't breathe through the mouth. Mouth breathing is bad for your heart unless instructed by your teacher. There are yoga techniques which we involve the mouth. But generally, yeah, as we breathe through our flow, for example, asana, or even our normal activity, we just use the nostrils to breathe. The nostrils are the channel for what? Inspiring the breath, energy. The mouth is for food. Yeah. The nostrils are the main anatomical structure we use for breathing. And even the exhalation, just breathe through the exhale through the nostril. And if you, for example, you feel after you're exhaling and you feel like a trapped energy lingering here, you may lightly sigh it out through the mouth. Yeah, gentle steam has enough. But not exhaling exclusively through the mouth. Inhale nose. Exhale nose. And maybe a little sigh through the mouth. And then you know, that sigh is actually not the breath. Yeah, it's just to release stagnation. Yeah, the main channel yeah, of the breath flowing in and out of the body are the nostrils. Beautiful. 
sa awareness to our body rising, the energy rising. So we can expand beyond our senses. And at the hap- as yeah, we practice, as they happen, yeah, the mind witnesses. I'll catch you in the next one, and have a lovely day. Namaste.